Hey guys, um, today we are going to deploy a Docker instance and uh, possibly also install a Nginx web server inside the Docker uh, container. And to do that, uh, we should actually uh, need a virtual machine. And uh, I have already gone and uh, spun up a virtual machine which has a Ubuntu Linux OS installed. And if you are not familiar or if you are new to Azure and want to know how to spin up a virtual machine, I have um, already done a video on that and uh, you can check that out on the description. So this is the uh, test Ubuntu box that I have spun up and um, it has a public IP address because uh, we are going to test the Nginx server. So let's uh, quickly connect to the box. You can just click on the connect button and then uh, SSH and then let's grab this uh, Azure uh, SSH hyphen i and then the user account and the at the rate of ip address so let's get into the terminal i have already downloaded my uh, pem file so you can see that i'm sorry about the typo so you can see that i already have a pem file here so let's connect to the box and so this is how the command is ssh hyphen i and then the pem file and then the thing um, user account is azure user and then the ip address this this part you can copy from uh, this command so hit on enter it will get you inside the box so we are inside the box and uh, you can test it out for my azure user so let's get into the sudo mode and uh, start executing the commands so the first thing first is to update the package so let's type this command sudo apt hyphen get update so it will go and update all the packages for the Ubuntu and once that is done um, let's go ahead and uh, install the HTTPS connections so let me clear up the screen and uh, we want all the package to be installed over uh, HTTPS so I'm going to in, uh, execute this command and uh, I will provide all these command on the description column and uh, you will have access to those so basically we are trying to have an HTTPS uh, connections so when we install any packages it is very secure so it's in the progress I will pass on the video and uh, I will resume once it is done so that has been done let me clear up the screen and uh, we are going to add the GPG key for the docker so this is a command to add so that is being added and then the next step is to actually add a repository uh, docker repository so this is the command to do that so it's it's uh, reading the packages yep that's done let me clear up the screen and finally we need to install the docker cli and then the container d so it's asking if i have enough space this space is obviously so type yes so it will go ahead and install the docker for us i will pass on the video and resume it back so now we have uh, installed the docker and uh, let's clear up the screen and verify if everything is in place you just type docker and now uh, when you get this command it means that everything is in place and uh, let's uh, move on to uh, install the nginx to install the dark nginx all we have to do is use the docker pull nginx command if you have not mentioned about any version in the nginx it will go and uh, install the latest one so let's go ahead and do that press enter so as you can see that it is using a default tag as latest so that means that um, you're going to get a fresh nginx box so once that is done uh, so if we want to list what is inside the docker image so we can uh, do by this typing this command called docker image and list that will uh, tell you what is the latest linux repository and everything so let's move on to uh, okay guys so now we have the local repository of nginx let's go and run the nginx on the port 8080 and the command to do that is docker run hyphen name web app which is the container name and you are requesting the port hyphen p as 8080 and then hyphen d as nginx so let's hit enter 
now um, it has created um, a container and uh, we have nginx inside so so now uh, we have actually um, kicked off an nginx and if you want to see the status of the container we basically use the docker ps command so let me clear up the screen and then i'll show you again docker ps so this means that you know we have a container um, that's been created on this id and uh, it is obviously it's giving us the status created and the port that is running so let's go into uh, the azure portal and grab the public ip address and then we should be able to hit the nginx okay so the reason you know it keeps circling back and it's not able to you know hit the nginx is because we haven't created any inbound rules so let's move on to networking on the virtual machine and as you can see that right now we only have inbound rules for ssh so let's go and add an inbound rule for 80 port 80 and then um, obviously it's not a best practice but yeah for demo let me go ahead and do any resource any source and any destination and then let's go and add an inbound rule so once that is done uh, we would be able to go ahead and uh, hit the web app on the nginx so let me pass the video and uh, once that is done let me okay that is done actually that's pretty pretty quick so again we'll go back to overview and grab the public ip address and when you paste it on the browser we should be able to see the nginx home page let's give it some time it should be up yep that is so that's it guys uh that's how you have to uh, install the docker and then uh, possibly inside the docker install nginx and uh, be sure to check out the description for all the commands that i have used in this video